Good afternoon, super cool party people. Oh, <clears throat> apparently I don't really have a voice yet. Anyways, I woke up this morning to go to work and I had a really sore throat and it was pouring torrentially. <laughs> and so it hit snooze, which I like, never do. And then I got up, brushed my teeth and everything, kind of started to get ready, stood in my room, like looking around for like 10 minutes going, should I go to work? Shouldn't I go to work? Should I go to work? Shouldn't I go to work? And... Then I got dressed, <laughs> and then I went downstairs, and I was still going, should I go to work? Shouldn't I go to work? Should I go to work? Shouldn't I go to work? And I was like, you know what? There's nothing, like, super important that I have to do today that I can't do tomorrow um, before the recording and everything happens. So I was like, you know what? I'm just... English. I'm just not going to go to work. And so I just came back upstairs, I got back in my pajamas, and I passed back out, and I woke up just after one. <laughs> um, my throat is still a little bit sore, but I think it's okay. Um, and honestly, like, I'm pretty sure it was okay this morning, but my um, boss has been really like, if you feel sick at all, like, don't come in, and so better safe than sorry. I think maybe I just need more sleep. Or I just really don't want to go out in the rain, which was the thing. I do have a bit of a cough right now, but it could just be because I had my window closed when I was sleeping because of the, like, torrential downpour happening. Seems to have gone for now, which is great. Anyways, so I need to go make myself some food because, like I said, like it's 1.30 now. I should probably put on some clothes because I'm still in my pajamas. <laughs> but I'm just going to take it easy today. I'm not going to do too much. <laughs> Like, I'm not even going to try to speak English properly. That's a thing. Um, my grandparents have to come drop some stuff off here at four. So I will just, you know, not get too close to them. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so I'll figure out a game plan here shortly. Um, but it's probably going to include, like, could you hold, like, not holding the camera straight, apparently. Um, probably going to include doing some sewing. I know that's shocking. And um, making my bed. That's about as far as I've got and getting dressed and feeding myself. There we go, there's four attainable goals. Well, hello, I live a lot better, my voice is a lot better, my throat's not really sore at all, I ate some food, and I got some mail. <laughs> so I ordered some stuff from Tarte, and I got some fabrics, so that's exciting. We'll do Tarte first because fabric is far more exciting to me <laughs> lately. Alrighty, so like apparently I've ordered from Tarte enough that I'm an MVP, which meant that I got a free gift. So I got this set of one, two, three makeup bags because I love having makeup bags, but mostly for technology bags, but sometimes for makeup bags. Um, so yeah, or maybe, you know, they're super cute. They could be a good gift to someone. Um, I also ordered this uh, Maracuja Tinted Hydrator. Um, mostly because I'm running out of my, like, uh, BB cream, and so I figured I would give that a try, and it was a good deal, and it came with a juicy lip. I decided to go with the clear because I don't really like wearing lip color, so I just got clear. Very exciting. Um, so we'll see if it makes my lips juicy or not. And then I got a free sample, so I just got the, um... H2O, Tarte drink of H2O, that's what it is, um, because I like forcing people to try this, <laughs> because I love it so much, and so anytime I can get a little sample, I get it, and then I give it to people to be like, hey, you should try this. And then I also decided to try their new, um, <laughs> highbrow pen thing, so that should be interesting. I want to up my eyebrow game, and so, like, maybe this will do it. <laughs> No promises. And it comes with a spoolie. Spoolie. <laughs> my eyebrows look pretty good right now because I washed my face last night, but I left my eyebrows on. <laughs> I'm the worst. Anyways, that's what I got from Tarte. And then this is my order from Fangirl Fabrics. And it is my Christmas pre-order. So she did a Christmas pre-order and then she did a non-Christmas pre-order, a regular pre-order. So I got these mini with antlers and Mickey looks like yeah oh no it's just all mini that's also got both so I got these I figured they'd be like super cute scrunchies for the holiday season maybe I'll make myself a Christmas mask who knows um I also got this uh Mickey cookies and then I got the adorable baby Yoda wearing like the Christmas sweaters and stuff it's so cute I don't even know what I'm gonna do with this I just wanted it um and then favorite Christmas movie ever so I had to get this fabric 
<laughs> the Grinch. He's great. Uh, Jessica and I will like constantly watch The Grinch. Um, it's like, oh, it's November, it's Grinch season. So yeah, so that's exciting. I will have to, uh, it depends what I make out of these. If I'm just doing scrunchies, I don't have to wash this fabric. So we might be okay. <laughs> if you didn't know, if you don't sew and you're interested, typically you should wash the fabric before you use it the same way that it would be washed when it's being used. So when I was making scrunchies and only making scrunchies, like who's gonna wash their scrunchie? Probably nobody. <laughs> um, and if they do, I would assume it would just be like a hand wash situation. Um, but yeah, so when I was doing scrunchies, I wasn't washing at all. But now that I've started to do other things, I'm like, mm, I should probably wash it. So I should probably wash this anyways. I don't want to, but I probably will. Anyways, I'm feeling so much better now, especially now that I have food in my face slash belly. <laughs> so I'm going to try to be a little bit productive here. Um, I'm just going to finish watching this YouTube video that I started while I was eating. And then we'll uh, go from there. Alrighty, so definitely I did my makeup, which I didn't need to, just felt like it. And also spent some time shopping through the Amazon Prime deals, even though I didn't need to. Um, but I have exciting news. So as I mentioned the other day, I reached out to Hush Blankets, which is where I ordered my weighted blanket from in August to be like, hey, this was supposed to ship like early September. And I understand that the world's a weird place right now. I, I was just wondering if I could get an update on the order. And so I got this email this morning that said, we're sorry for not being able to get back to you immediately. Like literally, <laughs> I emailed them on Sunday. They go back to me today, that's, that's fine. Uh, our warehouse is still working closely with all the stocks to get completed as soon as possible. And I'm like, that sentence makes no sense to me. I've requested yours to get prioritized now, which is exciting. And we'll send you an email notification once it's shipped. And then this morning, they sent me a text and said, good news, your order has shipped. So that was at like, just before 12, I was still asleep. <laughs> and then I just got a text again that says my blanket has been picked up by Pure Later. So that's super exciting. So hopefully it'll be here within a couple days. <laughs> I'm super jazzed about it. I think it says like five to 10 days shipping once it ships. So at some point I'll get it, but I'm very excited because I just wanna see if I sleep great. Anyways, it is like 10 after three now. My grandparents are gonna be here around four, so I should put some pants on. I, I mean, I have pajama pants on, but I should put some like sweatpants or something on. So my grandma's not like, were you sleeping? Yes, grandma, I was. Um, <laughs> and I should probably sort out the bed a little bit. I really, I kind of like this this lip thing that I'm doing it's not sticky which is nice but I also hate wearing stuff on my lips in general and I feel like I'm lisping as a result and I don't know why anyways <laughs> also I look super pale that's where we're at I'm going to do nothing useful I think I'm gonna make some lists I think is what I'm gonna do and watch some covert affairs there it is <laughs> um for the next like 40 minutes until my grandma gets here just try to get myself sorted and organized and then we'll see how it goes take my temperature again because i have been taking it all day just to check like i said i'm feeling a lot better but better safe than sorry there we go get a little bit further away i was also looking for like a tripod mount like an arm that could go on my desk and hold my camera so i don't have to but they seem to all be for like lighter cameras. So we'll see, I'll do some more research into that because it'd just be great to just like plop it there and just have it there instead of like, Okay, I'm rambling now for no reason, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Alrighty, so it is, wow, it is 10 to six and I'm not sure how that happened. I did sleep until after one today, so that's part of it. But I, I stopped like doing everything to wait for my grandparents to show up because they're supposed to be here at four and they show up a little bit after four, but I was like, can't quite get into anything. But since their departure, I have gone through all my scrunchies. They're all in the bags there. And I did an inventory of how many scrunchies and like each type I have because I want to keep them sorted. I also counted the reusable cotton pad packs, um, but those ones were a lot easier to count because I only have like two to three of any of them. So I have about just under 300 scrunchies. 
which is stupid. Um, I did pull some out, you can't see them, but they were kind of effective in that when I first started making scrunchies because elastics were, elastic was very hard to come across. Some of it had thicker elastic, so it didn't stretch as much, and some of it had thinner, so I kept most of them, but anything that I was like, this is really ridiculous, I pulled to the side and I will either stitch rip and put in proper elastic or I'll just like give them away to people. I don't know, I haven't figured it out yet. But I have done that. I have also messaged my breakfast buddy because she's like massively into graphic design and I was like, hey, can you help me do a logo for my store if I choose to go that way? And so I sent her an email with like, here's my thoughts, what do you think, blah, 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 and um, yeah, so getting things done. I want to do a spreadsheet for tracking the inventory. I think I mentioned it earlier, maybe I didn't, and now I am going to edit some vlog footage because today was the last one that went up, and I need to catch up <laughs> again. I'm not behind, I just need to not fall behind. So if I can get like two or three done today, that'd be great. Also in good news, my throat is no longer sore, which is great. I think, honestly, I've been staying up too late for one because I've just been like burning myself out, burning candle at both ends. And I've just been staying inside a lot too. So I think, cause like the last time I went for a walk, maybe did I go for one on Friday? I don't know, anyways, like I didn't go out all weekend basically. And I think that just like the dry air in my room probably contribute contribute it to the sore throat but anyways feeling a lot better not that I was really feeling blah and if it hadn't been raining there was a good chance I would have gone to work but I was like no bro anyways that's where we're at I'm going to sit down and edit now for a while and I will check in with you I guess when I stop for dinner because I gotta feed myself it's it's just me today Alrighty, so it is currently 7.30. I'm just exporting my second vlog now. The first one is going up, but it's taking its sweet time. I don't know what's going on. I also created some Excel sheets to track inventory and costs and profit and all that kind of stuff. I still have to do another one for like overall costs and sales, not just particular product, because like I have so much fabric sitting here that is not currently being sewn into things, but baby steps. The, the sheets did test my Excel skills quite a bit. Well, not quite a bit, a little bit, because I don't use it enough to know things off the top of my head, so I had to do a bit of Googling, but it's all good. And now I think it's about time to go cook myself some food, because like I said, it's 7.30 and this girl is hungry. Um, it's a little chilly. I mean, it's 22.4 in here, which is like fantastic. Coolest it's been for a while in this room. Um, but I think I'm still gonna grab my cardigan because I like being nice and cozy. And then after dinner, I need to sew at least one mask, if not three. So we'll see how that goes. And then hopefully don't stay up too late. I gotta clear off my bed up scrunchies. But yeah, if I can like go to sleep relatively early. So maybe like I'll eat dinner, sew the mask or masks, <laughs> have a shower and then go to sleep. So that's the plan. And I will check in with you when I'm done doing the, the eating thing, the eating thing. <laughs> well, hello, it is just about midnight and I, I don't even know what I've done. Oh, I was sewing masks basically was what I was doing. So I finished three of them, but very inconveniently when I was trimming the thread on, is it this part? Oh, now I can't even find it, yeah. On this part, right there, you probably can't see, but when I was trimming the thread there, I hit the material and cut the material it was like it was like the last thread too so that's great I think I can probably repair it with nail polish clear nail polish maybe um other than that I would have to stitch it that entire thing um and I might just give it to my friend for free because crap <laughs> so that's how my um evening went and then at that point I gave up and I just didn't even finish those two. I have that one and then this cute one for his mom which worked out a lot better. The lining, no, no the lining is good. Yeah that one's just, I'm angry at it but this one's super cute. I'm actually contemplating maybe making myself one out of this. Um, 
but I am going to make some of those cotton pads out of that. So yeah, that's where we're at. Um, I just wrote a list of things that I want to do tomorrow. It's quite lengthy, so I'm going to have to like work and then come home and just work. <laughs> fun times. And um, then I also wrote a list of the things that I that I want to put on my next spreadsheet, um, which is going to be like overall costs of everything that I've purchased, which is going to suck. I don't think I want to know because I, uh, I don't want to know. Anyways, <laughs> it's fine because like, you know, I'm really enjoying what I'm doing. So yeah, even though it's like costing me money to do, I enjoy it. The only thing that I'm the only thing that I'm angry about right now is my sewing machine screen not working. So that is something that I will have to sort out this week. I'm going to reach out, I guess, to brother because Walmart's broken. <laughs> also, I don't know what warranty they have in the store. I could probably check if it's if it's only six months, I'm screwed. But if it's more than six months, it could be OK. Me being organized and just dropping everything on the ground. Um, maybe they don't have a warranty. Anyways, I'll have to look into that because I definitely need to not have broken things. But yeah, so I'm gonna go now. <laughs> I got so distracted. Give me a second to be less distracted. I need to be productive tomorrow is basically what I'm saying. And that's where we're at. Uh, work should only be four hours tomorrow. It might be a little bit more depending because I didn't go in today, but hopefully it won't be too long. And then I can just knock out everything on my list and the world would be a better place. So that's where we're at. And um, I'm going to go and I'm probably going to go to sleep here soon, hopefully at least. So with that, I'm going to say a thank you for coming along on today's catastrophe of an adventure, which was an adventure. And I will see you tomorrow, likely, when I do very similar things. <laughs> Good night.